need help getting your echo show to respond properly stick around till the end of this video and make sure to check out all the steps that i mentioned to get your device back in action This is quite an obvious step, but something to consider nonetheless. There have been plenty of instances where I keep calling out Alexa and the device would simply not respond, only to realize that the mic has been disabled. Echo devices usually have privacy indicators built in and the Echo Show specifically should have a mic and a camera shutter that you can enable and disable as you please. Since the camera shutter is physical, it's easier to notice that the sensor is shut off. But that might not be the case with the mic button. Given that it's a button that you press, the only indication of the mic being enabled or disabled is a status LED on top. So yeah, make sure that your mic is enabled so that your device can listen to your requests and provide appropriate responses. A power cycle is a hardware level reboot that effectively resets all the charges from within your Echo device. This helps in getting rid of any temporary bugs that might have been restricting your Echo Show to not respond properly. To power cycle your Echo Show, just unplug the device from its power source and plug it back again after a minute or two. Now, the position of your Echo Show also plays a key role in deciding the overall responsiveness of the device, especially for voice commands. If your Echo Show is placed in a location surrounded by walls, other active speakers or generally in a location with lots of ambient noise, it can have a hard time decoding your voice commands. So make sure that you give your device enough room for it to operate properly. Just be sure that your final location is still in coverage of your Wi-Fi as that could pose similar issues as well. Also, ensure that your Echo Show and your internet router are as close to each other as possible with the least amount of obstacles between them. Following my previous point, your internet connection is critical for your Echo Show to work properly. Even if your device is as close to your internet router as possible, you will still need to ensure that your Wi-Fi has access to the internet and connect to Amazon servers. The best way to check this is to connect a different device like your phone to the same Wi-Fi and check if you can browse the internet. If not, you might need to contact your internet service provider to get your internet patched up. But before that, I do recommend that you try power cycling your internet router first. Simply unplug your router from its power source and plug it back in. If the steps that I mentioned so far did work for you, you might need to reset your device to its factory defaults. This wipes out all data from your Echo Show, essentially cleaning out any bugs that might have been causing the unresponsiveness in the first place. But do note that when I say wiping everything, I mean everything that's locally stored on your device. So you'll have to set up your device once again from scratch and will only have access to the data that's saved on the cloud. To reset your Amazon Echo Show, just press and hold the mute and volume down buttons for about 15 to 20 seconds till the Amazon logo flashes up front indicating the reset. And that's pretty much all I have for you in this video regarding fixing an Amazon Echo Show that is unresponsive. If you found this video useful, do comment your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting Echo content like this.